Last week, Bryson solved our unexpected oven problem. We added more lights to the kitchen, including the log post. The concrete slab was completed for the outbuilding. Bryson and I almost finished setting up the desk in the studio. Stay tuned as we continue on the kitchen addition to the main house, complete those gaming desks, and begin the new outbuilding. Show you the faucet cane that we ordered. Oh, hey! Whoa, that's heavy! Yeah, How much there's... was this? We got it for 50 bucks. This thing goes 360. Oh, that's perfect! You look nice. Look at this, you even got a little topper thingy. <laughs> Bryson helped me out because yeah. the ones we were looking at, the water came way out over here. The ones I know, with the, the big one handles. We bought was here. And Bryson goes, Mom, cool. we better measure that. And I'm like, Oh man, we can't get that one. So this is actually one for a, uh, like a bar. So I'm excited. Was it intense shipping? No, it's free shipping. eBay, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got several suggestions to use soap to help these things slide better. Should we push it in and get this other side of it? Yeah, I would say it works better. The soap definitely helps. Look at that. Smooth like butter. We're gonna build an outbuilding off to the side of our hoop barn. Similar to the other one out there, just mirrored. This building will be constructed out of block and the roof, well, probably recycled materials. We don't know yet. To put our door in over here on this side, wall up into a spot here. It looks like it might even be close to this spot here, but we're gonna have a door going in to this area. Okay. And then wall and back up to this other door. Two doors, one door there and one door here. Sounds like a plan, Dad. We're having fun now. Okay. So we use a little plumber's putty to make sure that our sink basket goes on nicely. And I need a little straightening here to make sure that it's straight with the world. Okay, we got the basket in. It also goes as a hat for improving your alien technology reception. So I don't know. I don't know if you really want to sink that low, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Here's how to lose a box of fat. You cut it up, put it in a cooker, and you make some oil out of it. I'm cutting this up. I'm gonna make some lard. I do this probably once a year. What are you doing, Mom? And when you break them up in little small pieces, it helps. A low heat for 24 hours, and it will all liquefy. They melt like ice cubes? Yeah, it takes a little longer than an ice cube, but yes, exactly. It's all liquefied, except for the stuff floating on the top. So we'll dry them up and give them as dog treats? We'll filter the rest, put them in mason jars, and we'll have our lard for the year. Be perfect. Years ago, we had gotten a good deal on all of these blocks. The kids and I, we took the truck and the trailer and we hauled, must have been 20 or more loads onto the property. It was a lot of work. We mainly got this block to do the fence in the courtyard, which we've only done this section. That section we started, we left it to go work on Bryson's building and we haven't come back. We didn't want to just put it all in one spot. We wanted to try to utilize it since we knew it was going to be stored around the property for a period of time. So we made it into fences and we, we laid it on the ground to slow water down. We have some extra block that has the four things that are sticking out that I don't want to use on the fence back here on the courtyard. We did an animal building with one and now we've got some extras. So that's what we're going to use on this outbuilding. We want to use the resources that we have around here. It's going to be a little bit different for us and it'll be fun to work with this kind of material on this building. We've contemplated this. Should we get organized with it? Because we got different colors of brick. We decided we're going to be absolutely random with the colors. And so it'll look a little like this. And we're using what we call the boingy boingies. Yes. Because they a bounce out. Scientific out. term the boingy boingy. They're higher quality block. If you compared it with a cinder block, I would say it's probably half the weight. I can easily pick up a cinder block. These are hard to lift. Boy, are they heavy, these things. Oh my gosh. And there were mountains of them from the place uh, we got. It was good. It built all your muscles. It did. Yeah, except they don't stay. You keep <laughs> got to build them back up. Are we getting tired? Thank you. No. We could go all... <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> we can go all day, what do you mean? We gotta get in shape again. We're like, got the winter lags. Hey, round is a shape. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go down and do the plumbing underneath first before we actually install this here. 
run a four inch to three inch to two inch to an inch and a half. So it's gonna be quite the change, but that's okay. We're working it in so that our gray water system drains really well. We don't have a lot of problems with it. So we get some water in here. This won't leak gases anymore. So it won't be stinky? Yep. Ooh, cool. Will it work for... Uh... Yeah, it'll yeah. work. Warn you. <laughs> Just checking if it was high. Yeah. In the desert, the lonely cactus stands. Beautiful and flush and gorgeous and... What have you guys done? <laughs> You've eaten the cactus! You hollowed it out! <laughs> what? I did not know they ate cactus. I have no idea. They've never eaten a barrel cactus before. That's new. Dad is still working on the sink. He had to go in town to get some stuff. Meanwhile, we came in and we're ready to eat. We are deep frying chicken strips and yam fries. And I am promptly eating them. Mm. Gotta have it in ranch, man. Everything's better in ranch. We will get a vent in here eventually. Eventually. <laughs> I was gonna go there too. <laughs> All righty. My wall is there, uh -huh. and the little lumpy dumps on these guys go past this in that slat. You're not saying your wall goes out to here? So the wall was going to run into the hoop barn. I wanted to get Dad's advice on how we should do that, because I wasn't sure if I should take the whole hoop barn apart or what. I don't understand. This brick here yeah. sets right here. Oh, okay, good. And then these yeah. stick out to here. Oh, I got you. And they run into the wall. Oh, so it's the lumpy dumps. I would just take this, this hoop and this hoop and just bend them over. Will that work? Yeah. Crowbar might work. I like that. How's it going, Breeze? Good. Having fun? Oh, Looks good. Oh. We decided to just force the hoop barn over using a crowbar. Either that or we're gonna shove the whole cement slab that way. Wow, it's actually moving it. Fun stuff to do. Ooh, what is that? You okay, Giz? Oh. You stop. Oh, this looks beautiful down there. Yeah, it's quite a plumbing extravaganza. All right, ready? Yeah. Yes. It's cold. And hot. Yay! Awesome! I love that. That's so cute. Look at the shape. <laughs> You guys did it. Look at that. Moving the hoop barn with that crowbar really worked well. He was able to move this out of the way, so we were able to do it. Yay! We're putting a door right here too, right guys? Yep. Door. Door. So we always have an out and an in. Hmm. We're hanging out on one of those bricks. It's cute. Hi little guy. Look at the underneath him. Oh, he's, he's got so yellow pretty. and he's got this really cool blue turquoise look. So cool, little man. All right, should we let him go? Oh yeah. You go on, live long and prosper. He doesn't look like he's running too fast, but he is breathing. Come on, buddy. <gasps> this is gonna be our streaming computer. All the parts arrived yesterday, I think, so we're ready. Spice bike streaming computer, whoop whoop. Now it fits. We're good. Oh, that looks fantastic. I love the AMD chip. Our super secret measurement. It's called, does that look right? That looks right. All right, we got that mixed. A few times I'm sure you have seen a glimpse of our junkyard. Reason why we have this piled up everywhere 
is because it allows anybody to come to the yard and be creative. Tons and tons of supplies to take and make something really creative out of it. We may go through it a little bit here and get rid of some things that are clearly not gonna be used, but especially the metal the guys can use for welding different things. It might look a little ridiculous, but. But you know what? The most exciting thing is to go through something a little bit of a treasure hunt going, okay, this is what I need, and finding some organic material that you just come across that's gonna fit your project. And you know, I don't know what kind of kids we're gonna have around here. I imagine eventually we'll have some grandkids running around and whatnot, and these are just a fun little projects they can find. They go on treasure hunts. It's an adventure when you're creating something, and it allows those creative juices to just flow. It's our junk pile, and it's, it's gonna be here to stay. Um, just look away. Okay, two rows up, Bree. Well, almost. We'll be getting some more help in a few days. Next Monday? Yep, be yep. Getting some next more. Monday we'll get some help. It'll be fun. Bar? Your barn's still up? Jack? Ish. <laughs> What's going on here, Gare? Building a drawer, that slide out drawer. Oh yeah, okay. Shelf actually, it's called slide out shelf. These are the pieces for it. All right. Getting ready to do the base. All right, now let's see. This is the hyper scientific way of doing it. It looks very scientific. This is the leftover, or here. Now, in place while I put a screw in it. So where shall we place part. the two monstrosities known as our gaming desks? They're a lot bigger than what we expected. You know, because we say go big or go home and we truly did deliver there. I will say they are fantastic to sit at though. Yes. I think it should be like the flying V. Both desks kind of almost touch each other right there in that section. And they yeah, in true duck formation. Let's do it. That's the best idea, I think. Ready. We have this old table saw set up again. I made a router table out of it. I'm excited to use it and I have something perfect for it. It's these small grooves that need to be made in here so that they fit together the panels. So I have been doing them on a table saw, but it's kind of scary. So now we're gonna be able to do a plunge cut real simple, run this all the way through and lift it up and not have a lot of danger, that big spinning saw blade. The um, pull out shelf drawer, which is kind of cool. And I've got uh, the doors and the major door for under the sink. This cabinet right here, which is the sink cabinet, this isn't is it? The sink, yeah, this is the sink carcass cabinet. All right. I just found out that there is actually a difference between a brick and a block. You are like us in your ignorance of bricks and blocks. <laughs> we are going to show you the difference between bricks and blocks. This is uh, the FYI with Bree and Bryson. This yeah. lovely this thing is a broken, but still. A brick. Notice its size. Notice its color, which I mean, they could be any color, but this is our no. color. Okay. This is a block. Block is significantly bigger than a brick. When they say, oh, brick by brick we built it, they mean a long, arduous journey. If they said block by block, it'd be like a field day. Now I have a question. Yes. That is considered brick, but my thinking is this. A okay. brick is solid and a block has holes in it. <gasps> Ooh, maybe. Whoa, my mind is blown. I don't want to look it up, I just want to say that's right. <laughs> <laughs> because I really so, don't care. But that means. <laughs> if I did, that would blow that my means mind. the next time. Take our, our sink out. The best way to hold on to a sink like this. So, when it comes back, it'll be all fresh and brand new-ish. Overall, we're gonna give it a good, nice finish. Okay, that's really my end result. It's uh, a nice finish. Bang some of these dents out and make this a flatter surface at the basin. I do need to cut this backsplash off and reposition these holes lower so that I can get this to sit next to that window a little bit because my cabinets are a little higher. Release the carpet! Your <laughs> <laughs> your hairy white legs and my non-hairy white shoulders need some cooking today. <laughs> You're gonna have to work like this so you can get all even. Would that be bummer to sit down on one of these?
Look around, what do you see? Sand? <laughs> a lot of sand in the like washes and stuff. And only desert sand works. Sky water, special imported from clouds. It's our rainwater. And I decided the bearing site has to be the brick building. Goodbye, rubber mallet. I think we have to go like 11 layers of this. It means 11 days, it's done. Let's but hope, I yeah, be awesome. All right, just crashed it and broke a couple of the props off. I actually broke the mount for the prop. These props here are made of fiberglass. I was watching when I was filming and I had gotten the drone behind me and I go, wait, there's a tree right there. I'm trying to figure out how to get it going the other way and it's one of those moments where it's like, is it left, right, no, wait, right, no, oh. <laughs> That happens. <laughs> Autopilot controls the drone to keep it from crashing what's in front, but you're seeing a tree behind it that it's running into, so it's, <laughs> it's a very odd situation, and I've gotten myself into it okay. several times. If you're gonna crash, let it be soft like a pillow. The back of the cabinet goes to approximately there. I'm gonna cut this off here and set these up to go there too. Hold, here, cut them in, back this little pup in, get it kind of balanced and ready to go, and set up for the sink, where the sink's gonna plop in. That wraps up this week. Bryson got the desk down, all those cords threaded through, the LED lights installed, and our server computer all put in there and set up as well. So we are all ready to rock and roll. We're gonna be doing a couple little things on the desks, but those will be in the full version when that comes out. The full version will not be taking place of Weekly Peak. We'll just post it when we are done with it. I love the desks and so does Bryson. It's so much more clean down here and cheery coming into work. We love them so much. The merch design of the week is this one here. If at first you can't brick it, block it. We have a 20% sale on t-shirts today only. So if you'd like to pick yourself up a, a snazzy My Little Homestead tee, uh, be sure to check out the link in the description. We really appreciate you being here and being a part of our family and we'll see you next Friday. Bye. I wish it flipped around and we could just spray you in the faces. Bricks and blocks. Now you can be a true mason and pursue all of your masonry dreams because you know this very simple but very powerful fact about bricks and blocks. You're welcome. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Oh my, what are you eating? You can't eat that. A bit of that, a bit of that, a bob of this. Which one would be stronger? The holy one, because it's divine.